You know, it gives me a lot of pleasure uh, to get to know this individual. Uh, not as much as I want to, but to start a, start a relationship. Uh, and the pleasure to introduce him as our next guest. Um, he, the title, and I think this is great, and what he's going to share with us is creating a business where everyone wins. Our speaker who started business with one service truck a few years ago, like many of you, when you started out, remember that one truck? Remember when you took and dispatched calls from the truck to yourself? Do you remember that? Those days? Well, he did the same thing, but now today he has a fleet of several hundred trucks, operates in 20 states, has over 30 locations, 600 plus employees, and is scheduled to do, his run rate is $180 million. And guess what the business is? Garage doors. And the reason I find that so interesting is how many of us would believe that you could grow that large, that quickly in that industry. And you can because the principles that he's learned and studied and puts into practice in his business allows him to do that. He's been on uh, Inc. 5000 award-winning entrepreneur. He's contributed to For uh, Forbes. He's contributed to Inc. Magazine. Uh, he's the host of a home service podcast. Uh, he's the author of uh, Home Service Millionaire. I strongly suggest you pick up that book. He's the author of the just released book, um, Elevate. All of this at a very young age. I'm, I'm kind of jealous, actually. Uh, but help me out here, okay? Let's get a chant going. I want to get some blood going here. Help me out very lightly. Ready? Tommy. Tommy. Tommy, a little louder. Tommy, Tommy, come on, a little louder. Tommy, Tommy, ladies and gentlemen, our next speaker is Tommy Mello. Thank you, my brother. Appreciate you. Great job. All right, I'm excited to be here. You guys, uh, wake up, because I'm going to be loud, obnoxious, and try to get you guys to laugh a little bit. Uh, let's see here. So I own A1 Garage Door Service, and right now we're, we're breaking through some walls. Uh, what Lance doesn't know is we just crossed 10,000 service agreements. We sold 1,700 last month, and I've got 50 companies under NDA, six LOI signed this week. So. You know, 180 million is great. I'm excited about that, but, but we're just getting started. I feel like I'm in the first minute of the first inning. So I'm going to share with you guys, you know, people ask me, all my coworkers, they say, why do you tell everybody our secrets? And I, I tell everybody, listen, they still got to go implement them. That's the hardest part. I'll tell you guys how to get a six pack, exercise, drink a lot of water, get eight hours sleep, quit drinking alcohol. But, you know, I, I still need to work on it myself. But it's not as easy as just implementing and integrating these thoughts. So I'll help you out as much as I can. I do have a Facebook group called the Home Service Expert, and I won't get upset if you go on your phone and join right now. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit about my new book, but you know, actually I'll go back here. So this is uh, one of my favorite quotes. I remember a long time ago when things weren't going so good, I, uh, I asked God why he's putting me in troubled waters. And uh, he replied, because your enemies can't swim. And it's true. I mean, I look around what's going on right now. And if the economy goes down and it gets worse, it's a huge opportunity. When God gives me lemons, we make lemonade. And you see people gaining a lot of wealth in a down economy. And I think interest rates are going to continue to go up. They just went up. 0.75, they're going up 0.5 again. I think it's going to hit 10. I know we're dumping our Federal Reserve gas right now, so I think we're going to see $10 gas prices. But it's an opportunity if you guys make it one. So we're going to talk about building a company, building a dream so big that every single person in your company gets to win. All my vendors win. I get to win. Our clients surely get to win. Because apples to apples, we sell oranges. I've got my own trademarks on all of our parts. 
It's, it's, it's a different game. We, we don't even play in the same hemisphere. My competitors who I love, they're learning how to play checkers. We're five moves ahead playing chess, and that's a huge advantage, and we're having a lot of fun doing it. I wanted to say hi to Mark out there from Consumer Fusion. We use them. He's amazing. I don't get paid for saying any of this. And I wanted to say uh, Brian and Nate are my homeboys with Waste No Day Podcast. I just threw that in there. But uh, here's the deal. Here's what I'm going to talk to you guys. Average ticket, conversion rate, booking rate, and your cost per acquisition. Those four things, I could fix your company. I could literally take it apart and fix it with those four things. And I always find the booking rate is a lie. And we're going to talk about that. Do you have a system to know what your call booking rate is? And are your CSRs handling, dispositioning the calls right? What I mean by that is a lot of times it's out of service area that doesn't count against them. Well, if they don't count against you, then you're screwed because why are you getting calls out of service area? Why are you getting so many parts calls? Maybe there's an SEO issue. Maybe there's a pay-per-click issue, but you can't fix it. So these four KPIs, I can literally figure out if I take how much you want to make next year, so you can take a billion dollars, and then you divide your average ticket by your conversion rate, by your booking rate, and multiply that by your acquisition, there's your marketing spend for next year. And then I fix those. I go in and I fix them. I find out a lot of businesses, and I go in and I, I fix all these things, and then I buy better, right? I buy 20% better than any other garage room company. So... Average ticket, we have do daily mojo calls, we've got accountability partners, we do role play. And here's the thing, my mom and dad got a divorce when I was seven. And it tore me up, but I'll tell you what, my mom worked three jobs, she was always on her high heels, she worked her ass off for me and my sister. And there's one rule I'd have for my clients. If my mom was standing in this garage, and she's still alive, she's doing great. If my mom were standing right here, this is what I'd be doing for mom. I got a lot of core values, missions, and visions, and all that great stuff. But ultimately, I treat everybody like I want to treat my mom because I love her to death. And if you live by that, and my clients know that, and my employees, my coworkers, they understand that we're going to treat people like mom. So I tell them, when you get back home out of Phoenix after your two months of training, when you get back home, my goal for you is to go fix. If your grandfather raised you, I want you to go put max life springs, 100,000 cycle rollers, did you guys know the garage is 40% of your curb appeal? Did you know it's the smile of your home? We trademarked that, by the way. I love garages. I'm obsessed with them. So everybody's on performance pay. My call center, the dispatchers, every single... I'm trying to get the cleaning lady on performance pay. It hasn't worked yet. But what's in it for them? Your first year for A1, you got a straight line to $100,000 or more. We've got insurance, dental, vision. We pay for AFLAC. We've got PTO, 401k, the Dave Ramsey program, and we have a dream manager. A full-time lady, her name's Kelly. Her job is to help figure out people's dreams. I built a calculator on a website so people could figure out what they need to make each day, each week, each month, each quarter to make their yearly. Just like I set a budget and I have goals, they need to set a budget and have goals. And I dare them every day to dream bigger. We dream together, and I say, listen, let's get you a house. A guy just called me three minutes before I started and said, I just wanted to call you to tell you I love you. I just bought my house last week. He said, my credit score was 520 when I met you. He goes, I have two beautiful kids. I got one on the way. He goes, I love you, Matt. I said, I love you, too. I was almost tempted to call him on this stage, but I, I'll never get done then. So conversion rate. Did you want to use your money today, or did you want to use ours? Huh, what do you mean? Well, yeah, you guys will pay? Yeah, we've got a great promotion going on today. I don't even know if I can still get you this promotion, but it's killer. Here's the things that you need to know. Both parties need to be aware of the situation. So we get the husband or wife on the phone. Typically, I like Facebook or, you know, if you got an Apple, I got a, a Galaxy, but... Whatever way you communicate, get the wife or husband on so they can see what's going on. It needs to be done today. You see, the best time to buy was yesterday, but the next best time is today because the prices are going up. So let's lock in this deal today. Number three, A1 is the best company. 
you know, Mr. Jones, I got to talk to you real quick about something. The reason I chose A1 Garage for Service is they've been here for me and my family. They definitely care about us. And, you know, they've been there for the good times, but there's also been some not so good times. And uh, I'll tell you what, I trust them with my family, and you should trust them too. Like, it's very powerful. We go that, over that over and over and over again. And I look at their body language. We teach on body language all day, every day. We never say the highest price. We say, we say the most economical and the best value. We never say the cost. We say the investment. Whenever anybody is shorter than me, I present on my knee. One knee so they get the advantage. When I'm talking to a man who's a D, I go face to face. When I'm talking to a woman, I'm on the side of her. These things matter, the words that we use, and we practice over and over and over. My goal for every single truck is $1.2 million. Our average truck right now is 700,000. I got a lot of work to do. We graduated 45 technicians last month, 46 the month before that. This stuff works. The fourth thing is price desensitized. So when they ask for the price, how much does a new door cost? I said, you know, doors go, you know, they give it 10, 20, 30 grand, depending on what you wanted. When they get six, it sounds a lot better. If you want to borrow 10 grand from your mom or dad or your grandparents, I don't know, tell them you need 50. And then go down to 10, and all of a sudden it sounds really good. And the last thing is they need to know there's options to pay. Right now we're at 17.5% of our company is financed. I want to get that to 60 plus. People said it couldn't be done in this industry. I said, hold my beer. Uh, booking rate's important. Do you know that your CSRs that book at 60% versus 90%? Follow me on the math. If you book at 60% and your average ticket is only $500, and they both take 20 calls per day, 20 opportunities, and they both work 300 days out of the year, the one at 60 lost you $940,000. Almost a million, because you cheaped out on your CSRs. That's nuts. A million dollars because you think they're pieces of crap that should only make 16 bucks an hour. My whole call center's on performance pay. The top performers make 30 plus an hour. The bottom performers, they don't get a plus bonus commission. They only make the minimum $13 an hour or the bonus structure. So the bad people quit <laughs> if, they, if they're not very good, but we do all kinds of personality profiling and ride-alongs and all kinds of stuff to make sure we get the right people. I need to make sure I don't go over. Am I supposed to be done at four? I think probably four-ish. All right, so. Understanding your cost per acquisition, it's called attribution. Have you guys ever heard of the word attribution? I've got 5,400 call tracking numbers. Every single one of my Valpacs, yes, those blue little things, they still work. They each have a separate phone number, and they say there's a city sign there to recognize the city, and it says your neighborhood of Paradise Valley or Scottsdale or Dearborn, Michigan. Whatever markets we're in, we make it localized and I got my cost per acquisition for every single marketing source. LSA is the best marketing there is. GMB is amazing as well. Organically, we're the highest ranked website I've seen so far, except for 1-800-GOT-JUNK and River Pools with Marcus Sheridan. Ultimately, Google is God, and if you don't spend more time on Google with places like Consumer Fusion, you're absolutely missing the game. So, I just wanted to show you guys, this is local service ads, Google guarantee, if you're not part of it, you're losing a buttload of money. We average 250 booked calls per month per LSA. Phoenix gets nutty, 4,000 jobs. It's crazy what we do in Phoenix. But I'm trying to Phoenix the rest of the country. And we, we've got a pretty good handle on it, but. This is an LSA, it's a guarantee for the client up to $2,000. This is a GMB. If you're not in the three pack, you've got issues. You need more reviews, user generated content, and you need to optimize your website that links to your Google My Business page. Are you branded correctly? Well, you guys mostly are, but this is what it looked like back in the day, 2009 to 2019 to now. My billboards look like my vehicle wraps, look like my Yard signs look like my stickers. And 
Dan Antonelli did a great job. He's from uh, Kick Charge. Listen, here, here's, here's something interesting. Are you giving your people options? You know, we talked about that earlier. But if you're not giving options, you're giving ultimatums. Remember that. If you're not giving options, you're giving ultimatums. So this was the, one of the hardest days of my life. That's Steve right there in Denver. Uh, Fourth of July, he, uh, I want you guys to just stop and think a little bit with me here. He had, uh, he was a rising star. He lived in Denver. Just an amazing, amazing guy. Uh, those are his two daughters. And uh, the 4th of July in 2020, I get a phone call in the middle of the night that he had, uh, he was in the hospital and he was brain dead. A firework went up in his face. He fell instantly, lost his, died. And uh, all I wanted to do was just be able to reach out and tell him one thing. You know, you only have one hour. You don't know. Uh, listen, call your mom. Tell everybody you love them. Spend time with your daughters. And I say this because I think it's so important to realize that tomorrow is not promised. We don't have a lot of time. It, even if you live another 50 years, it goes by so quick. I was talking to my cousin yesterday and I said, hey dude, I miss being a kid, man, because I'd wake up and every day was so different. And so I'd get ready, grandma would feed me, I'd play with my sister, I'd go over to my buddy Elliot's house, then I'd go on the bus, then I started the first period, and I remember time was so slow, so what I'm telling you guys, slow down, change, sleep on the opposite side of bed, the bed tonight, do things differently. I love habits, habits are a good thing, but sometimes you, your life just flies by and you wonder where the hell it went. I'm living my best life ever with my love back there, Bree. Wave, wave back there, Bree. I love you. Um, I just, this, this story is, is, you know, just make up with your brother, call your kids, put the petty shit aside, is what I'm asking you to do today. Leaders don't force people to follow them, they invite them onto the journey, and they win with you. You know, I love this. My boss arrived at work in a brand new Lamborghini, and I said, wow, that's an amazing car. He replied, if you work hard, put all your hours in, and strive for excellence, I'll get a new one next year. A lot of guys that I've worked for like that in the past, man. They don't give to their people. I love my people so much, man. There's nothing better when someone brings a new kid into this world. We buy them a onesie, A1 from day one. We celebrate their wins. We, we literally help them go on vacations. We've got, we invite our top performers. We went to Cabo San Lucas last year. We caught a huge marlin, and it's hanging in my training center. I think the video is a little, uh, little outdated that I'm going to share with you, but the training center... It's state of the art. I've got a real Harley Davidson in there. And when I walk in that garage, what we practice is, holy cow, that's cool, dude. Yeah, man, I just, I, I love this Harley. Have you been to Surges? And we find a way to relate to the client. I diagnose the person before the problem. Spent a lot of time on this. We, we do one month of personality profiling and all role play all day, every day. One month of it. And it's an investment. Training is an investment. The master in the art of living makes little distinction between his work and his play, his labor and his leisure, his mind and his body, his information and his recreation, his love and his religion. He hardly knows which is which. He simply pursues his vision of excellence at whatever he does, leaving others to decide, decide whether he is working or playing. To him, he is always doing both. I read this quote and I said, man, this is my life. You guys... I'm going to be here till tomorrow, but if this is work, this, I love every bit of my life. I am so fortunate, and that's not a cliche. This isn't somebody just because they make a lot of money or whatever. Oh, by the way, 180 million, our bottom line is 23.8%. So revenue is for vanity and profit is for sanity. Remember that. Uh, so money's good, and uh, we're, we're getting ready to make some huge moves, but I just have fun every day. And when you help people win, 
You'd be amazed how contagious. It just feels like I got to help somebody win all the time. That's why I'm here. I want you guys to win. Because when you win, I don't lose. When my competitors win, have you guys ever heard of Starbucks, anybody? Maybe a couple of you, good. I'm scared if you didn't. But the Starbucks effect was when every restaurant started charging for coffee. Every coffee house on the planet started to make more profits than they ever did. Because of Starbucks. And why can't we do what Starbucks did? Why can't everybody win? And the client gets to win too. And our vendors get to win. It's called Elevate. I'm going to talk about that in a bit. KFC. I was on this thing called American Dream years ago. And I said, where were you guys at before this? They said, Kentucky Fried Chicken. And I said, huh, what's cool about KFC? They said what's cool about them is they open a new store every nine hours. And that completely changed. Because if you look up what an OKR is, outcome and key result, I started to think, what would I need to do to get to a billion? And I drew a line on my whiteboard. And then I said, I need 2,000 technicians at 500,000. So I need seven recruiters, five trainers. Right now we've got 10 trainers. We figured out exactly. Everybody thought I was smoking hashish. But when I brought them into my office, I showed them the plan. They go, holy cow, you're a nut. We're really going to do this, aren't we? I said, you're damn right we're going to do this. And here's what we got to do today. Not next week, not next month. We're going to integrate and implement today. And it's been fun, man. So now every location we go to, I click a button, and Home Depot, Amazon, Costco, Everything happens. There's 200 things that happen. And they show up. The same blender, the same coffee machine, the same plungers. I'm able to open up new shops. I, I make one order on another website. All the mugs come, the carpet that has our core values on it. I've got all the wall art picked out. It feels like A1 from day one when you walk into any one of my locations. I thought I was being really smart buying the cheapest ping pong table, but then it showed up. It was only three feet big. So every one of my places has a ping pong table, too. So I want to read, read you guys something real quick that I read to every class that graduates. We usually get about 100 people, family and friends, and we got a certificate that's imprinted, and we celebrate big time when my people graduate. <clears throat> and this is what I read to them. A father said to his daughter one day, you just graduated. I bought you this car a while ago. It's a few years old, but before I give it to you, Take it to the local car dealer and try to sell it and see how much they offer you. I'm just curious. She comes back and she said, hey, Dad, they offered me a 1000 bucks." They said it's just pretty old and it needs work. He said, take it to the pawn shop. See what they offer you. The pawn shop offered 100 bucks because it's an old car, paint's faded, and it needs a ton of work. Father asked her daughter to join the classic car club and bring the car in there and see what they say. The girl drove the car down there, turned and said to her dad, some people in the car club offered me over 100 grand. They said it's rare and it's in great condition. It's got great capabilities and it's really hard to find. The father said, I wanted to let you know that you are not worth anything if you're not appreciated. Do not be angry. That means you're in the wrong place. Don't stay in a place where no one sees your value. And then I look them all dead in the eyes and I say, you're in the right place today. God sent you here and we're going to make a big difference in your life. You're here to win. You're on the right team and we're going to make history together. Let's effing go. And that's what I tell these guys. And they get excited. And I get excited. We're ready to win. That's what we do. We get them pumped. We're there for them. I mean, I, I can't tell you how much of a support group we have for these people. A dream manager. I help them get out of credit debt, help them buy a house. They get to drive new vehicles. Do you know how many people tell me, do you have new vehicles? How important it is? Do you know when I pay weekly, how much more important it is than bi-weekly? Do you know getting them enrolled in the Dave Ramsey program, but executing on this stuff and helping them and helping them come out with their goals with their significant other and their kids? And talk about dreaming bigger, that BHAG goal, the big, hairy, audacious goal. That's what we do. And I'm imploring you guys to, to look into doing these things. So we're all, we all need people. 
But here's what A players do. A players run circles around B players. You get five star reviews, they recruit for you. You get more jobs, higher conversions, higher average ticket, and they inventory properly. Here's the real deal. I hire A players. I, yesterday, Brie got really mad at me because I didn't get her luggage, I didn't see it. And she had to wheel it off. And I decided that I was gonna go try to make up with her. So I went to Sunglass Hut, bought her a pair of, uh, what kind of glasses were those? They're like the, the ones from Top Gun. Uh, anyways, Ray-Bans, yeah. Not important, but anyways, I took, the guy said, A1 Garage, what's that? I said, it's a garage door company. It's the best garage door company in the world. I said, do you love where you work? And this guy's in Orlando. He goes, yeah. He goes, man, it's weird though. You know, I'm thinking about moving to Phoenix. I go, you gotta be shitting me. I go, can I take a selfie with you? I took a picture with the guy. I said, what's your cell phone number? I'm gonna show you guys what we do. But I am always recruiting great, amazing people than teaching them the skill. I don't hire anybody with experience. Very rare, unless we buy a company, I'll train those guys. If I buy your business, I integrate you with 15 people, I've got 25 traveling techs, and every single employee comes back to Phoenix for one whole month. That's how we integrate properly. These slides I borrowed from my buddy Jody, I gotta give him credit, but get clear on your offer. I'm telling you guys, there's different numbers that sound better. Benefits, culture, why people like to work for you, and we use a lot of stuff here. I don't go where everybody else is fishing. I go on TikTok and Instagram. There's so many opportunities out there. What does your glass store, what does your glass store look like? What does your Indeed look like? Go look at mine, A1 Garage Door Service. There's always those people that quit that are gonna leave something bad, but where are people looking? Even if it's a referral, they're going to check out how people look at us. And that's the first place they pop up when you say work for A1 Garage Door Service, Indeed and Glassdoor. What do you look like on there? Do you even have a video on there? Who wants to work for you and why? You know, one out of four working Americans we're not searching for a job. I think that number is actually three out of four, really. These are the stats. How much time? The average person spends two and a half hours on social media. That's where you should be fishing. Do you ever put an ad out when you're renting your house? Homeowners with three bedroom, two bath homes that pay their bills on time, have great credit, and want us to fix their stuff at their house. You know, here's the facts. Nobody wants to work for you when it looks like a jail sentence. Must be, only qualified, bus work weekends, be here on time, timeliness, blah, 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 blah. I tell them how cool it is, how we had three new homeowners last week. I mean, people walk in and think it can't be this good. But then they see video after video after video. We just had a Halloween party the other day, and I gave out a thousand bucks, three places, but everybody had a blast. It was a potluck. This is what we do. I was bowling. The reason I can't turn my neck is I was wrestling at the bowling alley with all the graduates. It, I, I'm not, you guys shouldn't wrestle because you get your neck hurt. But uh, I'm just telling you guys what most of these want ads. Don't require a resume. Watch how much it goes up. I don't want to see your stupid resume. I don't care what you did. You could have dropped out of 10th grade for all I care. Can you use a tablet and do you smile amazingly? I asked my guy how he doubled in sales. He goes, I came back from my refresher course, you know, the six month course. And he goes, Elisa, the head trainer walked up to me and she just told me to smile. I said, you've doubled your average ticket. How, he goes, all I do is smile. I just smile more. I had a guy do $44,000 in one day. And he goes, man, I'm just good looking. And he goes, I smell good. And I said, I tell all my people, I say, here's the deal with me. You're going to love me, I promise you, because I'm going to take care of you. You're going to love the brand new trucks, because I don't spare a dime on those. You're going to love the parts, because they're all trademarked. No one else has them, so we're not selling apples to apples. I said, you're going to love the $4,000 of tools. They're the best of the best. The one thing I can't help you do is love yourself. You need to look in the mirror and say, damn, I'm good looking. One of my guys went to Wichita 
and they went to a restaurant, and uh, it was a good-looking waitress. And Steve was training this, this, this apprentice, and he goes, look at me. He said, look at me. He looked him dead in the eyes. He goes, you're going to ask her on a date. He goes, no, dude, she would not. Goes, I can't do that. He goes, walk in the bathroom and get your ass together. The dude spent 45 minutes staring at himself in the mirror. And he asked her on a date, he got a date. But we work on self-esteem all the time, too. We bring people up. So the fact is, you got to send a picture. We send a picture. This is the first message that goes out when you apply. It's automated. Then if they don't fill out the resume, that's a picture of my dog, Finnegan. And it says, Finn is our mascot. Every time someone completes an application, Finn gets a treat. And then, well, then there's Tom Cruise pops out going, your mission, should you accept it? And it's a drip campaign, email, text, voicemail blast. And either they're going to opt out and say, go to heck, heck, <laughs> or they're going to freaking fill it out and I'm going to get them. Hiring is the most important thing in your company if you want to grow. Top grading is important too. It's awesome when you can include a video. Videos change everything. Videos don't lie. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. A video is worth a million. I'm doing pretty darn good on time. I'm loving this. So videos and pictures help, and a lot of you guys aren't doing that. Just seeing here. So this is where people look to find out. This is where employees Look, all, in all these places. And I would double down. I told you guys about Consumer Fusion. They get all my bad reviews. As long as it doesn't apply. So a lot of bad reviews don't follow terms and conditions, so we're able to get those removed. We've removed 120 negative reviews. I mean, some of them stick. But I love bad reviews because I comment, and I make the customer look like he's crazy. And I look like a, res you know, I respond quickly. And they say, I found these parts on Amazon, blah, 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 blah. And then, <laughs> then it's like a little war. I just go to war. Uh, I even put a YouTube link, and I record a video responding. And I, you know, I, I love that. I put a link to a video and some of the reviews. And I say, listen, Mr. Jones, I'll tell you what. I, I want to do business with you. I think my customers are number one. We warranty everything. Our employees are taken care of. And you're going to win with us because we'll show up on Christmas. We'll show up on New Year's. We do charge a little bit more than our comp competition, but it's a way better value. We offer an 80,000 cycle spring. They're installing a 10,000 cycle spring. We charge 800, they charge 700, but it's going to last eight times longer. So theoretically, it should be charging 5,600 <laughs> if you do the math. But, uh, but monitor your reviews. Get your best employees. Here's my role. They got to work here at least two months, and then I talk to my management team and say, is this guy for sure, or is this gal for sure a keeper? And if they say, yeah, I personally text message them, let me know how I'm doing on these sites, I'd appreciate it, as well as my podcast. And then I hit question mark the next day, then the next day, then the next day. And there's nothing wrong with asking people how you're doing. You can't, you know, don't pay them to leave you a five star, but that's the best way to do it. Uh, you know, Jody's my buddy. I'm not a, I use rapid hire. I'll tell you guys a story. Um, I wanted to hire my own in-house recruiters, and we did. And I went to my next class because I love the day they just all fly in, and there was 12 guys in my class. And I said, WTF? I said, what happened? And Jody said, listen, they're trying to, they're not following up. They're not using the system. It's a software is what it is. And they go, you know, they're trying to do their own thing. They got Excel files again. It's like you move back into the dark ages. And I said, Jody, he goes, what do you need from me, Tommy? I said, get, can I fly you out tonight? I need you to get on a flight now. Come fix this. I need my next class to be 30 to 40. He goes, all right, I catch the next flight. We're going to have to do some work. <clears throat> the president, I don't even know if I should tell you guys this story. 
president of my company, <laughs> uh, he was not happy about 12 new technicians. So uh, a lot of people looked at Jody and they, they started having separate meetings on my recruiting team. And Jody said, hey man, I gotta go, this ain't working. And Dan was in the room, he goes, are they, you're kidding me, what's going on? And he goes, you just don't respect the process. He goes, they're all fired, seven of them, go to HR, they're all fired, they're done. I didn't really like that move, that's not who I am, but we had a clear house, this is only a few months ago, and Jody had to rebuild the recruiting team from the ground up, so it's a crazy story, but now we're getting 40, 50 guys a month. If I hire 50 technicians, I need 12 CSRs and six uh, dispatchers. So that's 70 people a month, and that's, that's what we're working on. So have you ever heard anybody say, I, I only sell things people need? Have you ever said that? Has anybody in here ever thought that? Like, I don't sell, I don't sell anything people need. I don't really give a crap what they need. I care what they want. Do you need a new car, or does your current car? Do you need a brand new iPhone when it comes out? I tell people I sell all the time, man. Listen, this is what the guy wanted. He wanted a new opener that he could control with his phone, that Amazon could come deliver packages. He wanted the lifetime warranty. So I sell what people want. So you don't have to feel like a, big, you know, a, a bad person anymore for selling. Selling's not a bad word. I start out every orientation passing around an offering. I literally have the golden dish, and I, I tell everybody to just give me any money they have to spare. And then I take it back and I say, I'm just kidding. But if the preacher or the priest could talk about tithing for the first 15 minutes of every sermon, you better believe we're going to talk about money. We're going to talk about sales, and the best salesman at that church is the preacher. Because it gets you to pay a lot of money. And I love God. I'm not trying to be condescending. But uh, it's pretty interesting because, I, I, and uh, don't worry, Lance, I'll get done here in 10 minutes. Um, I was sitting in a room with 40 other garage door companies. I invited them into my home to visit, which is my office and my training center. And this is a few years ago. And uh, I said, who here is charging what the HVAC company charges? You know, they pay about two grand for a five ton unit. They're selling it for 12. That's a six times multiple. I said, you know, Ken Goodrich average is uh, 18,000. I look at Leland Smith's at a 22,000. So I do tell people, raise your price if you want nice things. But here's my story. I said, let's just do five times multiple. We pay for a really nice garage door, 16.7 with a lift master, about two grand, right? Who here is charging five times that, 10 grand? And they all looked at each other. And then I said, who here is charging at least 7,500, right? No hands. And one guy goes, how do you sleep at night? That's what he told me, how do you sleep at night? I looked him dead in the face and I go like this. Do you have billboards? Do you offer new vans? Do you offer PTO? Are your people allowed to make six figures? I said, tell me about the insurance plan you offer. Tell me how you could dominate on Google. Tell me, let, show me the tools you buy for your people. Tell me that the woman that's working for you has good tires on her car when she drives to work. Tell me that none of your people don't get a Thanksgiving dinner. Tell me about that. Who, and I said, who here has all these things? Nobody's hands went up. I said, state-of-the-art software, brand new vehicles, pay weekly. I said, how the hell do you sleep at night? You're taking advantage of everybody that works for you, so you're telling me you're giving the customer a discount because you're screwing your employees over? How do you sleep at night? Every one of those people <laughs> walked out of that room, shook my hand, and said, I'm raising my prices. And it was a game changer. I want to just talk about a couple quick things here. I've got a new book. It's not out yet. It's going to come out. My birthday is March 4th. Yes, I'm a Pisces. Yes. I don't know. I don't know. But you, I, I'm not even into horoscopes. But uh, listen, I put all my, all my thoughts into this book about everybody's got to win. Every single person has to win. And your life will be more abundant. You'll be happier. You'll wake up with a little pep in your step. I'm telling you, this book means so much to me. And I've, get, I've given you guys the first chapter. You don't come out with a book to get rich. I'm just doing this to share my message. You guys, take out your phones, please, and check out the first chapter. I don't charge for it. I'm not, I'm not here collecting your data, putting you in a stupid funnel crap. I just think it's a cool book that I put my heart and soul into. 
I want to read you guys something real quick before the final video lands. A lobster, when left high and dry among the rocks, does not have the sense enough to work his way back to the sea, but waits for the sea to come to him. If it does not come to him, he remains where he is and dies, although the slightest effort would enable him to reach the waves, which are perhaps within one yard of him. The world is full of human lobsters, people stranded on the rocks of indecision and procrastination, who instead of putting forth their own energies are waiting for some grand billow of good fortune to set them afloat. Don't be a lobster. Today is the day to get started. Now is the time. You're here to make a difference in your life and your dream has to be big enough for everybody else's dream to fit inside. And when you look at people and help them win, everything changes. You could have one-on-one -on -one meetings with people and you could say, hey, John, you told me you were gonna buy a house. You told me your dad was sick and you were gonna take him on a fishing trip. You told me you were taking your grandma to Italy. We need to work on you. We need to work. I don't give them, you need a performance improvement plan. What the hell, you're missing your KPIs. I say, listen, man, we got a dream together. Let's figure this out together. My difficult conversations are easy. You know, there's three things that I find for every business. Three things, if you do these three things, you'll win. Number one is have a budget, have a plan, have a detailed plan, know your booking rate, your average ticket, your conversion rate, your cost per acquisition. Make a plan. Number two, be willing to have those tough conversations, but they're not tough if you're thinking about their dream. Number three, be a talent magnet, baby. Be a talent magnet. Pay people well, love on them, care about them, actually give a crap. You guys pumped? You ready? Let me hear you guys, come on. Let's win. Listen guys, all I can tell you right now is get your shit together, get a plan, and do the plan. This is the day everything changes. I will be $3 billion in the next five years. And I got an exact plan and process how to get there. So I want you guys to dream a little bigger and elevate everything around you. That's all I got. Thank you guys.